Hey, how's it going everybody? So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you a little quick tutorial. Now this tutorial is actually going to be of how you can actually find a Windows 10 product key. Now I should say that really uh, this isn't just for Windows 10, uh, this also applies to other things. But I'll go right ahead and leave that information in the description below, as well as the link to what software I'm actually using. So nonetheless, let me go ahead and show you what this software is. Here you can already see that I have um, technically a software called Lazy Soft already technically on my desktop. Now I've gone and actually used this software before um, back when I was doing the tutorial on how to re reset a Windows 10 password. But I do want to show you exactly where I found it. As you can see here, I technically just found it in SourceForge. Um, like I said, I'll go ahead and leave a link below just so to make it easier on you, uh, just so you know where to find it. Now, of course, we do see right there that it, it does support a couple of Windows versions. So that would be, you know, all the ones listed right here in the bottom. And from the looks of it, you can actually even get the, the actual product key for a Microsoft Office um, suite that you might have installed on your computer. So anyways, let me go right ahead and show you how this works. Alrighty, so here we're just going to go right ahead and just double click. And as you can see, it actually gives us, of course, uh, the computer name. Now, it also does show us the version of Windows 10 that we're running. So for myself, I'm just, you know, running a Windows 10 Pro Edition. And right underneath, you can actually see that it gives us the actual product key that I used. And that's technically it. I mean, that's the only thing, you know, you, you need to do to go right ahead and find that product key. So to give you a little bit more background on why I'm actually, you know, trying to find the my product key is because I'm trying to update to Windows 11. Now, one of the things is that I I try to upgrade it inside of Windows 10 and then just do, you know, just a simple upgrade, but unfortunately, I I guess when I installed Windows 10, I did I really didn't disable what was it? Uh CSM uh support as well as I didn't really enable secure boot. So now that I'm technically wanting to upgrade to Windows 11, it doesn't allow me because if I do disable CSM support on the drives, my bootable drive doesn't even show up. So I, I kind of did some research and I found that, you know, technically you can't really disable that and then enable secure boot. At the end of the day, what I'm gonna have to do is just set up the BIOS correctly and then go right ahead and install Windows 11. Anyways, enough of my problems. Uh, hopefully this tutorial helps you out. And like always, I really do appreciate every single one of you and we will catch you on the next one.